Hi, everybody. Meteorologist Joe Chaffee here. Weather in five, five days and five minutes on this steamy Saturday, uh, day five of our heat wave. 90 plus highs already reached, and it's not even 11 a.m. yet. Uh, at least at the time of this recording, where temperatures have already hit 90 degrees across much of New Jersey, Long Island, eastern Pennsylvania. Uh, we're already in the middle and upper 80s as we move our way up into southern New England and even some lower 90s in southeastern New England. So uh, it's uh, on its way. Uh, we are headed for highs today that are going to reach the middle and upper 90s. Newark is shooting for its fourth straight day of 100 degree highs. Uh, and it's likely to hit it, especially since the uh, the uh, observations are taken pretty much close to the runways and near the Jersey Turnpike, a lot of blacktop around there. Notice on the uh, <clears throat> satellite view, skies are mostly clear uh, at midday from Maine down into Georgia with just a few patchy clouds across the southeast. We do have some uh, rather hefty thunderstorms that have developed in parts of the Ohio Valley. I have two standouts here that you can see on the uh, satellite right now uh, is this one area that is moving uh, in through Indiana and Ohio, a second area that has blossomed out across uh, Minnesota uh, and on up into eastern North Dakota. Those are the next two disturbances that are headed eastward. And as we check out the radar, you can see the rather large area of showers and, th and storms that uh, are moving through the, into the Ohio Valley here with uh, already uh, numerous severe thunderstorm mornings. Don't see that too often uh, at uh, lunchtime, maybe late in the afternoon, but not at lunchtime. And that area is moving to the southeast. And then we have the second area, and that's going to be our cold front that comes through here on Monday. And finally, we'll break uh, the 90 degree plus hot streak at seven days. The Storm Prediction Center Today has an enhanced risk from southern Minnesota, northern Iowa, eastward across the lower lakes. And you have a slight risk through Ohio with a marginal risk into western Pennsylvania. Notice that they have no thunderstorms forecast along the coastal plain from Maine down into eastern Virginia. I'm, I'm kind of hesitant about whether I should just mention the possibility that there could be an isolated severe thunderstorm, but... Uh, if it does happen, I think the best chances would be well inland. Now, for tomorrow, uh, we have a marginal risk into Vermont and upstate New York, a slight risk western New York, northwestern PA across Ohio, Indiana, and Illinois. And Monday, the Storm Prediction Center has a rather large area of slight risk from southeastern New England uh, all the way down into Virginia. So that includes Boston, Providence, Hartford, New York City, Philadelphia, Baltimore, and Washington, D.C., down to about Richmond, all in that slight risk. I guess it wouldn't shock me if we wind up seeing a small area of enhanced risk by the time we get there. Rainfall, again, it's all convectively driven, so uh, it's one of these situations where some places get very little and other places get much more. So on average, let's call it a half to three quarters of an inch. From New England down into the mid-Atlantic states, you can see bigger rains, though, forecast west of the Appalachians from West Virginia through Kentucky, southern Indiana, Illinois, up to several inches for this coming week. And the uh, inch plus rains extend all the way back uh, into the plains. And we are continuing to see some pretty so decent monsoon action moving on into the southwest as the drought conditions slowly get alleviated there now tomorrow sunday is going to be the hottest day of this stretch and what we're going to see tomorrow is temperatures climbing up over 100 degrees uh, in uh, northeastern new jersey uh, areas that are in and around the warmer urban centers around new york city around philadelphia and trenton uh, a good bet that you're going to see temperatures uh, make a run for 100 degrees or maybe even 101 or 102. Middle to upper 90s everywhere else. A little bit cooler over Long Island, especially central and eastern Long Island. A little bit cooler in parts of southeastern New England. Those will be your relief spots. But the inland areas in southern and southeastern New England and south central New England will also be in the mid to upper 90s and maybe even a few areas in and around Boston topping the 100 degree mark so uh, it's a matter of just getting enough of that northern part of the jet stream to move southward and push a cold front through here now this goes back to thursday and you, we did get some dew point relief yesterday 
and some of that is that lasting into early today but the humidity is definitely coming back especially tomorrow which is going to be brutal uh, with the temperature and humidity combinations making it feel like it's probably over 105 then on Monday as this upper low spins near James Bay it'll bring through a cold front with showers and thunderstorms and then it looks like we'll get some uh, decent temperature and some humidity relief Tuesday and beyond with another upper low that develops here in the uh, area just south of James Bay late next week. And that'll keep things reasonable here uh, through uh, the rest of next week. And then after that, uh, it may start to pull out again uh, and uh, we get maybe a little bit more ridging, although there is some troughing that gets left over there along the East Coast. So let's just look at uh, the next chance for thunderstorms here and that's going to be uh, uh, for widespread thunderstorm activity and that's going to be on monday and that's our cold front that's going to be moving on through and you'll see it here on the gfs uh, for this afternoon again you see some little isolated cells well inland uh, the main front uh, is back right through here that is moving eastward uh, we're going to continue to see that push eastward tomorrow. And, of course, again, tomorrow, uh, the hottest day of this heat wave stretch. And then Monday, with that front, more clouds. I think Monday's highs will be more like the upper 80s and low 90s. You see those showers and thunderstorms with the front Monday evening, uh, the, the uh, rather Sunday evening, uh, in upstate New York. Uh, and then they get, uh, there they are, so that's Sunday evening. So we'll throw them in for late tomorrow afternoon with all that daytime heating that there could be some thunderstorms around. And then Monday with that front going by, that's when I think we'll have a much better chance for some showers and thunderstorms. Front's going to get hung up a little bit on Tuesday. Uh, so we'll see if that means that there'll be some lingering showers and storms, especially from central and southern New Jersey southward and from southern Pennsylvania on southward. Then eventually the front does push along and we get uh, some dew point relief uh, later Tuesday, Tuesday night into Wednesday, and then we'll go through it all over again with another cold front late in the week on Thursday. So we do have uh, a break in this uh, unrelenting heat uh, coming uh, on Monday with that cold front, but get ready for tomorrow with those temperatures uh, well up into the 90s to around 100 degrees in many locations. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, and the Joe and Joe Weather Show will be tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. Eastern Time, so we hope to see you then.